What's up, YouTube? All right, I'm running in DI3. Uh, I've already ground balanced. ID mask is at 10, and da -da 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 -da, sensitivity is at 95. And this is a bottle cap test. See if we can determine. There's one coin out of one, two, three, four, five, five or six bottle caps, and then there's one coin. So we're going to see if we can tell the coin from the bottle cap. Now a lot of these are twist caps, uh, just your standard like Corona twist caps. Uh, I got some aluminum twist caps or I guess screw on caps uh, and then some other miscellaneous types of bottle caps that you'll run into. Alright, here's the first bottle cap I believe. Really bouncy ID in the 40s. Turns the iron if you back off of it. And this one here is the coin, I believe. Very crisp. I believe that's a dime down about six inches. I'm going to back off of it. I've got some iron right there, that's what you're hearing, but you hear how it just cuts out. Okay, that's a coin, it's very crisp, locks on very good. Nope, no iron grunt or anything when I back off. Alright, and here's a... That one sounds pretty good. Let's see if my numbers drop in the 50s and I back off. I think that's the aluminum screw on cap, which is really hard to tell. Sounds good right there. Start backing up, I drop in the 60s. Back up. Drops in the 60s, 70s. That one's in the 60s, 70s. Turns the iron grunt when I back off of it. Very choppy tone. I'm not going to dig that one. Okay, and let's see what else we got. Here's another one. It's a pretty solid signal. Backing off of it, it still sounds pretty good. Let's see how it's jumpy in the 40s, 60s, 80s. They're real shallow like that. I like to get to the edge of the coil right here and scan it with it. See how it's in the 50s? It's really jumpy when I back off of it. Then here's the coin again. Very crisp. Alright, let's go over here and do a quick little separation test. So here's that dime. It's a dime or a copper in between a bunch, probably half a dozen or so iron square nails.
<laughs> Still pretty good. ID is actually showing in the 80s, and then here's those that quarter with two nails touching it from each end. <laughs> Pretty good. And then here's the <clears throat> other two. This one's surrounded. I can't remember exactly, but there's. Uh, I think this is surrounded by four nails with a silver quarter in the middle. Giving me a good silver ID. Does pretty good. This one's got the silver dime in it, and it's basically down the barrel of one square nail, and then a couple of square nails surrounding it. Give me an 83 or so, 85, which is dime. I believe that would be down the barrel right there. <clears throat> or close to it. It's definitely pulling it out of there. And then here's the uh, clad quarter surrounded by iron. This one's really easy to hit. So one thing I like about this force core is the ID on it is really solid. I'd have to say the force core and the amphibio have the most solid IDs out of the uh, Nocta macro line by far. Let's see, I've already done that one. And let's see if it'll hit this 13 inch quarter in three tone. chirp every once in a while. I wouldn't dig it. I'd walk over it. Here's an 8 inch nickel. Just throwing in a nickel ID in there, here and there. Uh, here is a 12 inch quarter. Believe you. It's just on the edge of detection. Uh, here is a ten inch copper. Locks onto it really good. And up here is a six inch quarter, six, seven inch. It's a ten inch quarter somewhere in here. Beautiful. All right. I got my 10 inch dime somewhere here. I've lost it. We've had so much rain that all the vegetation has grown up. So I honestly don't know where it's at. 
Maybe, yeah. That's it, I'm pretty impressed with that. It's pinpointing small, like a coin. And 38 centimeters. It's a bottle cap. I'm leading into that bottle cap. Though. Anyways, uh, so it passes on the bottle caps, I think. Depth is pretty good in DI3. That's the least depth out of all the programs. Uh, two tones really deep, and then all metal, of course, is really deep. And let's try that 14 inch Civil War bullet, which is right here. That was pretty good. And then I think I got a 8 inch dime right here, I believe. Like an 8 inch quarter. Locks on deck pretty good. Alright guys, that's gonna wrap it up. I hate I can't find that 10 inch dime unless that's it right there. I'll have to recheck, but... That might be it. I don't know. Anyways, that wraps it up for the Nocta Force Core. Now, I'm actually probably going to be getting me another Amphibio. I seem to have worked my way around the Nocta macro detectors, and now I'm circling back to the Amphibio. I kind of miss it, so look for more tests with the Amphibio Multi in the future. Before I wrap the video up, uh, also those mass targets over there that we just did, uh, those are six inches down. These right here are also six inches. This is a quarter. Dime. Nickel. And penny. See how fast it can recover. It starts to trip up a little bit, but still. It's not too bad. Let's try uh, DI2. Alright, here we go. Trips up a little bit. Anyways, uh, I guess that'll wrap it up.